okay, look, I was just sitting here and I just thought I'd make a quick video and show you how I do the, that same grass jig mold that I showed you that I've been using my whole life. I'm going to show you how, how I make this. Look at that. Look at that. My stand up, my stand up neg rig, whatever you want to call it, but it's a stand up mold. See, a grass mold. And see, can you see? Can you see the, the wire keeper? See, how I put the wire keeper in there, and that's a five aug hook, and that's a one eight one eight jig head right there. It's real light. All right, let me show you how I do that. See, I just got some. I got some little modeling clay, just a little piece. And you just break off, you just break off your just a little bitty piece. See, it's real soft. It's real soft. You can clean it right out of your mold. And then all I do is just make me, all I do is just make a, make a little bitty ball like that. You see that ball? I just make a little bitty ball like that. And then what I do, what I do where you put the weed guard at, where you put the, see it right there? See that clay in there? Half of us in that side, and see the other half is in this side. See, and all it does is stop the lid from flowing up in there. I mean that right there is that right there is to stop it from coming up. See, from coming up from coming up in here, you know where you got that collar at, where I tied them bucktail and stuff on. And see, it just stops that. Boy, that was a, that's a different one. Let me show you this one. See? See how it stops that? See, it stops that collar from coming up on the hook right there. See the hook? See how clean that is? It just stops that lid from flowing up. That's all. All right, the way you do that is, they sell these little old, they said these little plastic pieces right here. What it's made for is to block the hole from filling up for the weed guard. So you can do that instead of have a hole there where the weed guard goes, you can have it just solid lead because I do it that way too. And then what you do, you get these little springs, little like Barlow Tackle and all's got it. I mean, you can go to any of them tackle places. All them tackle places sell all this stuff. It got all this. All right, see that little spring? You take that little spring, the, that's the one I like. The one that's got that, the one that's made like that. See that, see that one little bend on there? This ain't made, this in here is not like a owner where it clips on your swim bait. And then you take this little old plastic clip right here and it fits right in there. See how, see how I just push that right in there? Let me see if I can show you better. See how I just push that right in there? Look at that. Perfect. And then, and then in your mold, and in all molds, see, I didn't, I ain't modified this or nothing. And then all you do is just stick it right there where the hook's at. Just like that. See that? I mean, it's perfect. The lead won't flow up it or nothing. It stops the lead from flowing up it. And that's all you do. And close it up. See? Perfectly closed. And then, then I go right there. I go right there to my pro. I got a pro melter that holds about 20 pound lead. See, I could sell them. I mean, I got everything to do it with. I just don't do it. And then it comes out. And then it comes out just like that. Just like that. Look at that. Stand up in my hand. It stands up in my hand. All right, let me show you one. Let me, uh, then, then you just get you a pair of cutters. You get these, you can get these at Barlow. It's made to cut that lead off. That's all I cut with. I don't cut nothing else. Because I don't want to tear them up. Let me show you how you let me show you how you cut the lead off so that jig will stand up. Most people don't know how to cut it. The reason the jigs don't stand up. Can you see it? You see the pliers? You see that bend in it? If I go in there just like that and cut it with that bend down, it cuts a groove down in there. You don't want that. Turn the pliers over so the grooves at the top, and then and then just snap it right off. See, watch it, and then just cut it right off. You see that little bit on there? 
Then, then you, then you go from the front to the back. You go from the front to the back, just like that. Just like that. See, I'm holding that right at the, right at the tip of it. So you don't want to go way down here in the bend. Go right there at the tip where it's flat. And snap it right off. And, and look how clean that is. Look how clean that is. See? I mean, I mean, really, it'll stand up just like that. See? It stands up just like that when you do it that way. But then, just like I showed in another video, I just take my little file and just knock that and just knock that right off. Cause when I put paint on it, I don't want nothing in the way. I don't want it to, to hit a rock, hit a stump, none of that. And I don't want it to ricochet off of it. I want it to stand on it. Now. See how smooth that is now? See how smooth that is? That's the way you do it. All jig mode, just like that. See? And it stand up by perfect. This right here has got a one aught hook in it. See? It's got a one aught hook. This is the one that they actually made for the mold. I still got all that. I got boxes of them. But this is a one aught. Very small. This is made to put the little bit of small plastic on there. Like a robo worm. Now this right here is perfect for a robo worm. That you see in all the pros fish with, this is perfect for that. It's the same worm. That's the same worm. It's the same worm I won that boat with. I mean, it's a good worm. It's a robo worm. I, mean, I fish with them all the time. But see that? This is perfect for that robo worm because it ain't too big and it ain't too little. But that little bit of robo worm, it goes right through there and hooks the fish. The robo worm screws right into that. And it's right in there and it, and it's totally weedless. Totally weedless. All right, I just want to make a quick video and show you it ain't no modification or nothing to your mold. And all you got to do is buy them little old things. They cheap. You get a pack pool for just a few dollars, and then you can mold all you want. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the like button so other people can see. Thank you. Bye-bye.